Today, a health expert from Ohio State University joined Ohio Governor Mike DeWine and Lieutenant Governor John Houston to discuss the science behind slowing the spread of the virus. And some of the key takeaways include wearing a mask, social distancing, and washing your hands because the virus is spread through droplets. Cleaning services frequently is very, very important. And by taking these steps, you are interrupting the infection process. It is a matter of, of multiple parties working together in concert to be able to limit um, access of of other people to the virus. If you can't contact the virus, it can't get inside you and it wouldn't be able to uh, create an infection. That was the Ohio State doctor talking and those are just some of the protocols economists are looking at using as we look to the future. Today, we're asking what reopening will mean for Cincinnati. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco joins us now live. She's in Mount Adams. All right, Courtney, you spoke to a man helping guide the governor's decisions and what did he have to say? Yeah, Tanya, we talked about what the future of Cincinnati would look like financially, what it would look like for our work lives, our personal lives. And he says one thing is certain, it will involve a lot of this stuff. Let me introduce you to Charles Gerhardt. He's with Government Strategies Group. He's helping the governor's administration and Cincinnati leaders respond to COVID-19 and plan the recovery phase. He says he doesn't expect the economy to bounce back in the foreseeable future. What you will see is staffing will start with the most critical employees and work down to those that are less critical from an operational standpoint. Gerhard says businesses likely will have to limit how many people can come into an office at once and decide who works with who in case they need to quarantine. He says that even if businesses aren't in the first wave of places to reopen, they need to start planning right now. One, because your own employees uh, may be skeptical about their safety and the safety of interacting with, with the public, uh, your customers or clients. Uh, maybe uncomfortable about uh, re-engaging, especially if they see no evidence of um, recognizing this issue and planning for safety. And Gerhard says he expects to get more details from the governor about reopening and which businesses will open next week. Reporting live in Mount Adams, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.